Hey guys, welcome back to Mesozoica. We are doing great. Our dinos, this guy's sleeping. He's not dead. They're happy. Or, or yeah, he's happy. He's happy. Or she, they're happy. Um, everything's going great. I've added another another little uh, section here with um with an information stand. I also want to add an information stand probably to the front here. Oh, I did. Never mind. I knew I wanted to. There we go. <laughs> Wow, I completely forgot that I did that. That's amazing. <laughs> um, that looks really nice. Anyway, we're not going to work on this exhibit today. We're not even going to work on the path. We're going to work on a brand new exhibit. I wanted to make, I wanted to try a rocky exhibit. So, um, this is the hatchery. This is the hatchery right here. I want to add a small dino. Like, nothing too big. This guy's huge. How big do these guys get? Probably pretty big. Four meters. Yikes. I want to add sort of a smaller dino. Um, to a little, uh, kind of a rocky exhibit. These guys are probably not going to be two meters. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> what about these goofy, goofy looking guys? Three meters. Okay, that's huge. Ooh, can I view? Oh, it tells you two meters. If we can get this guy, the Pachyosaurus. He's a herbivore too. That'd be great. Stegosaurus. There's our T-Rex. Triceratops. There's our Tyrannosaurus. Sue. Rare. Four meters. That's it? That seems short. And then this guy, only one meter. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, um, excuse me for clearing my throat. I'm still a little bit sick. Let's go into the world map. And let's try to uh, get a dig site going here. Oh, wait. Maybe we should figure out what that dino is, right? Does it say if they're like rare or something? What's the last one? We want the last one. Velociraptor. Epic popularity. Uh, okay, okay. Epic popularity. Let's see if we can't find out or or find some epic dig sites or something. Epic. That's what we want. Okay, cool. Let's see which ones are available. Not here. There's an epic one. Nope, that's not the same one. Looks like a new skin though. Mud pool. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like the new uh, DC hero, Mud Pool. Epic. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. There he is. Perfect. Velociraptor Mongoliensis. Beautiful. Can I go here as well? No. What about... What about here? Nope. Ooh. Let's try some of these. Epic. I just want a couple of uh, skins for it. Oh, we got a skin for one of those... Uh, Goofy looking guys. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Epic. We got a skin for a try. Oh no, we got a Triceratops. I don't think we had a Triceratops before. That's really good. Epic. What is that? Another Pachyosaurus skin. That's pretty good. Maybe we can get another. Maybe get four of them in there. What did our dig site reveal? A kingfisher. That looks really awesome. I like that a lot. Let's do a rare one. I don't want to spend too much money. We're going to need it. We don't even have the rond. A rare skin. That looks really cool too. Okay. let's. Uh, we only have 178,000 left. Yikes. Okay. This is bad. Um, Let's forget that. And let's start building the exhibit here for the, uh, the little raptor guy. Now the raptor guy... Hmm, maybe I won't do a raptor guy because it feels like I feel like he would be more interested in uh in like a, a, a leafy a leafy sort of uh exhibit. This is definitely not a leafy exhibit. Let's see if we can't get the scale ridiculously big. Okay, now can I move it? I just want to move it. No. Like that. And we want to move it backwards like this. Good stuff. Now we can build off of this. Oh, this is going to be nice. Wait, I have a question that I will answer myself. Yep, you can put leafy. Oh, yeah, you could just race it up, right? R race, race it up. Uh, if I did that and then did this. Uh-huh. And you could put some uh, leafy areas in the rock. Look at that. Oh, that, that, is, that is really high up, though. It's hard to tell. Yeah, look at that. Okay. 
That is really high up. Let's do something like that. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to play with rocks, uh, all kinds of different shapes and sizes. I'm going to try to stick to the same color. What do we have for color? This looks similar. Will these look okay? Oh, yeah. Th these rocks will be perfect as an accent rock. But I want to lay out the base. And, of course, you could put these. On top of that rock. Yeah. I want to lay out the base of the exhibit here. Cover it all in this sort of red rocky area. We'll have maybe a couple of spots. Maybe just one greenery spot. And then of course there are some new blueprints by the way. Check it out. This, these look really nice. This is a little carnivore. A carnivore thing. Carnivore feeder thing. This is really cool. It's a, um, it's a, it's a breeder I guess. A hatchery. But it's disguised. In green. Actually, this would look good in this exhibit. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let me get to work. It's getting really dark. Let's change that time. <laughs> we can control the time. This is what I've got so far. I'm working on just building sort of like an overall base for it to make it all rocky and all this sort of color. And then I'm going to add like these rocks and stuff along just to sort of make a cliffside. I'm not a fan of a couple of these. I might actually delete a couple of them. I don't like the white ones. In fact, let's do that now. I don't like the white rocks. Um, I do like these. I think they fit the, the color scheme that I'm going for. Yeah, these are not bad. Um, but anyway, it's, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> um, also, you get like low res rocks like this one. I mean, if I was to scale this out, I think, uh, did I do it right? Yeah, maybe it was just too stretched. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll put the uh, the breeder up here, or the incubator, whatever the heck it's called, and then it'll. I I mean, the dinos will just come out, and I'm starting to think. I don't know. Maybe maybe too small a dino is gonna get lost in this sort of these speckly rocks and stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have like a nice. We'll see. We'll see the dino options later. But for now, I still got to work on making the rest of this bottom all rocky and then adding some cliffs back here with these. These rocks are my favorite. Um, this is what I've used for the majority of the exhibit. This is all the same rock, just like different scale, different rotation, stuff like that. Um, so let's just duplicate one. I'll show you what, I, what I've been doing. Duplicate and then maybe I'll turn it around. What does it look like underneath actually? Can I? And then let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. How does that look? Kind of a flat surface underneath. I'm not, I'm not hating that. Let's straighten it out. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's see here. If we could just like... I'm also trying to make sure it's not like crossing the fence and stuff. Probably rotate that a little bit more. Just like that. And let's see what that looks like. That's not bad at all. Ooh, I feel like if these two are touching, it would make for the perfect little cove here, or little cave, I should say. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, yeah, there's more work to be done. All right, so I've got the basic layout of it. I just want the back to be kind of rocky, have a couple of these random big rocks in the middle, which I'm still not 100% sure I like the color of these, but we're going to go with them. We're going to stick with them because... We're going to add some greenery now. You see all these creases? I kind of want to add like bushes and stuff, like big old bushes um, in between the creases. <laughs> ah, Let's see. I'm trying to find something that will look good. I don't think we're going to have any trees in here. This might be what I want. Nah, I want something a little bit, little bit bushier. That might be good. Hmm. Maybe, let me think. That ground leaves, ooh, this might be good. I'm going to need a lot of these, though. And I'm going to need to make them bigger. Is there anything else that I could maybe substitute in there? I just want the creases to be a little bit, maybe not every crease. Maybe we'll do, like, the corners and stuff to make it look a little cooler. But let's try something like... This is going to be a little tough, too, because I have to bring it up. So I have to do this, bring it up, and then bring it over here. Like, right over here. How are we doing? You are still very, very high up. Let's bring you right down, right there. Okay, and now we duplicate. 
and move into our desired locations. I decided to go mostly with the dark green here, the ground leaves, the dark green ground leaves, just because they, uh, I think they just look better against the, uh, the rock. And then I did a couple of layers. I did a layer higher up. I mean, from here you can kind of tell. Here, let's, uh, what is it, shift is it? Yeah, shift. Let's get a medium density layer here just to fill that in. Hundreds of dollars well spent. But look at it. It's looking pretty good, I think. I think, personally. I hope you guys like it. Nice little bushy area. I did the front as well. Look, check it out. Uh-huh. Everything looking nicely, densely, densely forested. Not forested. Densely leaved. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to continue to uh, to attach some some leaves here. Make it look a little bit... Yeah, that's kind of nice. I didn't want much more than that, to be honest with you. Let's get the... Uh, there's a blueprint for a water thing now. And I think maybe a water pool. How's that? Uh, it might work. Let's raise it up and see what it looks like. That is a big water pool right there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that is a thing that I want. I think we're going to go with the regular water pool here. That is huge, uh, which is down here. I mean, there's a couple of them. There's another water fountain that I might or that might look good. Where was it? If I can find it. A plant pot? No. This. No. This. Classic fountain. That looks kind of dumb. So let's go with one of these. We will place it uh, down here, I guess. How's the height on that? Hard to tell. Oh, yeah, that's that's good height. That's good height. Let's place it right here. Okay, good stuff. So we have our water fountain where people can come and watch the dinos. Uh, we don't know which dinos we're putting in here yet. I'm thinking about... Uh, well, first of all, I'm not done with the, with the scape either. I kind of want to put more rocks, especially these... Oh, is it these? Hey, these will work. These have a nice similar color to them. Uh, what we got to do, though, is we got to, like, yeah, like, do something like that. Every once in a while, spin them around. Just little piles of rocks here and there just to make it look like, uh, that looks like some sort of a ritualistic area here for the dinos. But I think something like that would look nice. Um, this one kind of looks lonely over here, so let's give this guy a friend. We'll duplicate it. We will move it. We will spin it. And maybe we'll scale it up, up a little bit, up, uh, up a little bit, just to make it look a little bigger than his friend. And we'll move it over here. That's not bad. I mean, if I was a dino who liked rocky scapes, I feel like this rocky scape would be one that I'd like to live in. Shall we put another bit? Oh, man, this this light. Is there a way to freeze the time? <laughs> That's really annoying. Uh, anyway, is there another place where... Yeah, maybe back here we could add some more uh, some more of these grassy, grassy guys. My favorite grassy guys, which are right here. So we'll shift those up like so. Make sure we have the right height on them mm-hmm slightly down there we go and now we'll start placing these and rotating them so that they don't look the same and I think we have a winner on our hands started adding some of these for uh, for a little bit more depth color depth just to have a different shade of green am I overthinking this th sometimes I think so, but I kind of want to make it look really nice. I like this so far. I just have to stick with the rocks, man. I keep forgetting about the rocks. What about up here? I just want a little bit of different colored green within this green. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that is really good. This part over here looks fantastic as well. Let's lower this a little bit. Just so that a little green... I'm like the Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm like the Bob Ross of uh, dinosaur exhibits. Okay, right there. Little bit of green in the background. It kind of sucks when you like move away. It doesn't render in as nicely. Like that's nice and lush. But then when you when you zoom out, that's not bad. Okay, now I gotta get on with these rock rock placements, which is gonna be a little bit tedious. I'm gonna try to use mostly the the same rocks. Um, but man, that's gonna be. I feel like I need the rounder rocks, you know. 
something that'll match in color, though. I guess this is, like, the only one. But then I'm going to have, like, matching rocks everywhere. Here, let's put a little divot right there. These are too dark. This one kind of matches. I mean, we do have some of these in here. So let's uh, maybe place something like that. Uh, like that. Okay. We can have one. Maybe... Mm, not really feeling that. Don't really want more there. Oh, we could probably make like a nice little different shaped rock using one rock right here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then we could place this one. And we'll change the scale of it to make it a lot smaller. And then move it up. And place it here. There we go. Things are looking pretty good. This place here looks a little bit uh, deserted. So maybe we'll place some rocks there as well. I think it's time we add the dinos to Jurassic Park. Yeah. Okay. So we got to go with core. We got to go with one of these little hatcheries. One of these little hatcheries right here. And uh, we're going to raise it up. Where should we put it? Like right... Ooh, in this corner might work nicely. Turn it around like this. I think you can actually stick it. I don't think that affects the dinos in any way. I hope not anyway. Hold on. Let me just raise that up a little bit. Oh, I can't. Uh-oh. No. How do I undo? Is there an undo? There's got to be an undo. Undo? Oh, no. I just removed that. There's got to be an undo. Wait. New blueprint. No. Uh, dang it. Control-Z. Perfect. <laughs> Woo, that kind of... Oh, no, continue. That kind of scared me a little bit. Can I close that? Okay, I don't want help anymore. What I want is this. Can, I, can the help go away? Can the help go away? Go away, help. Done. Okay, this guy. Uh, no, this guy cannot move it up. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to affect the dinos in any way. Do like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it higher up. Like so. This is going to be interesting, guys. Okay. Let's, uh, well, I guess we have to access it through here. That's the one. These guys would look really cool on a rocky scape. Are, how big are they? Three meters. Okay. Uh, these guys would look really cool on a rocky scape as well. So would they, though. Honestly. Two meters. I think we're going to go with these guys. The Kentrosaurus. We'll purchase that one. Ooh, we have an Africa. Ooh, that looks perfect. That's going to blend in way too well with the rocky scape. We have two Kentrosauruses. Okay, so let's see. They're at 15%. Maybe we'll do some uh, some research. Try to get another Kentrosaurus skin while we wait. Uh, dig sites. Let's do weak. Common. Another Bar Baryonyx Walkeri skin. Let's do uh, poor. golden gecko skin let's do another wait what's the kentrosaurus i should probably have looked that up before oh, the digging's complete okay hold on hold on the kentrosaurus is common okay common popular we're only at ninety-nine thousand dollars this is gonna be rough guys are they done yet is it still going does it say can I? 99%. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if it comes out. <gasps> it is going to come out, I hope. It's not moving. Let's get him out. Come on, Kentrosaurus. Oh, you are slow. I hope I made enough, like, paths and, or the, the ground sort of angled enough where they can actually walk around 
Oh yeah, once he comes down here, I don't think it's oh boy. Oh boy. Here, let's let's control him again. What happens? Oh, now he's just gliding along the ground. Can you You fell. But that's okay. If you could just hang out down here, that would be great. That would be great, Kentrosaurus. You look amazing. Where's your buddy? Your buddy's got to be done soon, right? 84%. Okay, it's close. Let's check out what we got on that world thingy. Where's the dig site? Dig site? There it is. Nothing! Fantastic! Let's try another common. Uh, and not the wrapper. Common! Oh, there we go. Sunny side. Skin for the Kentrosaurus. We're at 92,000. We gotta open our park soon. We will definitely... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, something I think is wrong. Something is amiss. I don't think they're gonna be able to move. Maybe they just don't move much. Maybe that's just their style. Yeah, they kind of glitch out of the um, of the thing. Let me get this guy. Get down here, buddy. I don't really need them to go back up that way. I just want them to be, like, on display. That guy's growing up fast. Come on. You are really, really slow. Come on. I remote controlled them all down here and put them in a line. They have not moved at all. All is that just a uh, is that just a feature? <laughs> is it a feature or a bug? Um, let's read about them a little bit. Maybe that'll provide a little bit of a clue. The Kentrosaurus sharp point lizard was the African cousin of the famous Stegosaurus. Unlike its American relative, it was relatively small with a long spine for each scapula, while the plates on its back gradually merged into spikes that lengthened towards the end of the tail in the renowned Thagomizer. So it doesn't say anything about them not moving ever. Um, okay. Okay, maybe maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's a bug. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to log out and come back in, and hopefully these guys will be able to move. I'm guessing they're if they start moving, they're going to find a way to get stuck in these rocks somehow, and I'm going to regret making this rocky landscape. But how do you guys like it? I mean, it looks pretty cool to me. If I was going to a dino, dino theme park, yeah, I would like to see... You know what? This one almost looks bland now compared to that one. I feel like this one's got a whole lot more detail in it. Ooh, I really like it. The more I look at it, the more I like it, and the more I hate this one. I don't hate it, but it's, uh, it's definitely more basic compared to something like this. I might still add some rocks. Anyway, let me save the game, exit, come back. Maybe they'll start moving. Well, they're not moving... Which leads me to believe that maybe because they're sitting on this rock, the AI doesn't recognize it as a surface, and they probably think that they're stuck or something, or, or they're in midair or something. So that kind of sucks, um, especially since once they get hungry, I have to remote control them over to the food, and I don't even know if they'll eat at that point. Maybe they'll fix the AI in the meantime. <laughs> That's going to be it for this episode, though. How do you guys like this exhibit? I really, really like it. Maybe in the next one, we'll open up our park. We'll start uh, maybe building some features outside the exhibits. Like, uh, I know there's, like, the movie theater and the snack stand. And we can do some things like fountains. And look at all these guys. They're loving it. Where's this guy? He's half outside the cage. Interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, and we can have, like, a little, little fountains and a park area and all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff to add here. Oh, wait, I keep hitting escape look at this the interactive ones the core where, where the is it the interactive ones that i saw no uh static maybe it's just like the uh core and railings oh okay um well there is the blueprints there's like a helicopter pad i think i've shown you this the helicopter pad it's not over here Ooh, there's an observation tower now look at this that would be cool. Let's add an observation. No, we could add an observation tower outside and stuff like this. Like, what is that exactly? Oh, it's a hatchery, like a, an advanced Jericho hatchery. There's that water pool that I showed you guys. Utility shed. This would be kind of cool to add somewhere in the park. Green hatchery, small hatchery. Look at that. 
This is really nice. Anyway, there's lots of options, lots of things to build. I thought I did a pretty good job with this one. I mean, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to be working <laughs> very well. Maybe we'll have to completely delete this and get a new sort of style. But uh, I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Let me know in the comments if uh, if the fact that they're on rocks is the reason they're not moving. Um, and if you want to see more of this series, let me know with a like. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.